Songbook. Songbook is a list of the songs that we want to use in our performing, on stage or any other place. The best songbook and the most usable songbook connection is a, a songbook that you, you can use with iPad, any kind of iPad and latest operating system and Unreal Book software that you can purchase from App Store. There are three versions of that software, blue version, red version, and Unreal Book Pro. Unreal Book 1, actually. Unreal Book 1, blue, and Unreal Book Red version. The best version is Unreal Book Red, but for that version, the most beneficial is version if you are using latest version and if you are using iPad that has possibility to install the latest operating iPad system. The most thing you will get from that version. If you are using older iPad, you have to use uh, Unreal Book 1 and then you will just uh, have some of possibilities, but not all of them that you can get with this version. Now, Songbook is there. You can see I have my Songbook and now I have my Songbook in SD90. Catron SD90. You can have it in Genos, you can have it in Cork. I have it in Catron SD90 and it works beautiful. It is called registration. I have all my songs here and I have all songs on iPad. Now I have to connect iPad with SD90. I can use iRig MIDI 2. That iRig MIDI 2 has connection on one side that goes to iPad, but then uh, you have another connection, it's a regular MIDI connection. It is MIDI input, MIDI through, and MIDI output. You can call songs from Arranger by sending messages from iPad. In this case, you need MIDI output cable to connect to MIDI input of the keyboard. Or if you want to send messages from songbook from your keyboard to your iPad, Whenever you choose song from your, on your keyboard, it will be shown uh, on your iPad, or you can see lyric, then you have to go from MIDI output from the keyboard to MIDI input iRig, and then you will have connection over there. That connection works perfectly well. Just there is one small thing that you have to think. If you, are, you, if you uh, perform for many hours, you will get out of the power on your iPad, so you have to, uh, again, connect uh, iPad to some source to get uh, more power batteries uh, it will run out of power in this case i prefer connection that is wireless bluetooth connection with yamaha md bt1 if you connect yamaha bt1 then you will get something like this that you can see on picture now you have uh, uh, to pay attention to triangle that is point out to connection that means it is MIDI input. And another triangle or arrow is pointing to the cable that is MIDI output. So MIDI output, that is MIDI output, that is MIDI in. So uh, MIDI in, you will connect to MIDI in. And MIDI output, you will connect to MIDI output. That is telling you where you have to connect it. So it's different than here. Here, output goes to MIDI in and input goes to MIDI output. But here, it's actually telling you where you have to connect. MIDI in goes to MIDI in. MIDI output goes to MIDI output. When you connect that, now you have, you have wireless connection. You'll, you'll go to this wheel up, press there, and go to Bluetooth MIDI. In Bluetooth MIDI, you will see MDBT01. Uh, that is up. Maybe you cannot see everything because my camera is good. Camera is 4K a GoPro camera. But whenever I am uh, recording something, uh, some screens, uh, there is problem with light that is coming out from uh, a reflection from the screen. So there, but I am telling you what you have to do. Press up in that wheel, last function on the top and then press to Bluetooth MIDI and then you will see MDBT01 and you will just press, it will say not connected. Press to that 
and it will uh, uh, you will see information connecting and after that connected now when is everything connected now you are able to send messages and to you call, call your songs now there are two ways to uh, send and receive messages one way is if you press to that wheel and press to file MIDI now you have to Two windows. Up windows is for receiving messages and down windows is to send message. Actually, let me see. Up is for uh, for send message and down is to, to receive. So whatever is message up, uh, so to send message. So whenever you choose song, it will automatically right away change song from your song book. So in the middle of the performing of one song, if you somehow change song, it will change style. It will change a song, uh, 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 song from your song book, from registration memory. I don't want to happen. Uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, so that's why I will explain you later what I can do to avoid that. Down MIDI input. When you choose song from your song book, from keyboard, automatically it will show lyric of that song on your iPad. That is logic. When, when you cho choose song, you will change style, change everything, and you want to have that song right away on your screen. That is okay. That is fine in this case. But in case to sending messages from uh, iPad to keyboard, I prefer to use buttons. In button, uh, so when I choose song, for example, here, I'm going to choose song, this one. Now, my style is still running my old style. So if I'm performing song, one song, and I am almost about to finish that song, but I'm choosing no new song. So I will choose new song, but that song would not change my style. I have time to finish my song, and then when I'm ready for next song, I will just press button and look at what will happen. It will choose song on my songbook on keyboard. Look at that, down. Now it's another song. Now I can perform that song. I press performing. And with intro. There is intro of that song. So now that song is performing. I decide when it will start by pressing button. I have three buttons. One is for Korg, one is for Genus, one is for Catron. Depends on which keyboard I am performing. So that is one style. Let us say I didn't finish that song. I am just pressing hold, waiting for another song, but I don't want to make break. I have still some rhythm is going on, something is happening, and then I decide to change it and press it, and now I can start new song. Hands up everybody and then And then I'm going to the next song. I can keep rhythm going on and then I can just change to next song. Okay, that's it. So please subscribe, ask some questions. If you like video, you can put like, but all, uh, I don't have those information on my uh, 
YouTube channel. I am not. Uh, uh, I simply I decide like that. Uh, anyway, I can see that if you like video, or if you don't like video, uh, and uh, if you want to ask me some questions, please ask me some questions and see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching this video that will help you to connect uh, your songbook with songbook from the keyboard. And that is the best version. Unreal Book, iPad, latest operating system and your keyboard and you can enjoy in your music.